those are the ships of the Prophet. There are ten of them. That's the third convoy this week. The sons of Mohammed are up in arms. They want the world. We Christians will take up the sword as well. We will defend ourselves. See, son, what we have over there is the land of Cadiz. Then we'll continue up to call the waters. How many more days do you think the journey is going to take, Father? Many days. Aquitaine is far away. See the geese. They're certain to get there before we do. Blessed be the name of Allah, the merciful, the omnipotent. He is holy, he is infinite, he is the absolute master of the universe. Allah is a just judge and his wrath is terrible. Muhammad is his prophet. Blessed be the name of Allah throughout the centuries. Blessed be the name of Allah, the merciful, the omnipotent. He is holy, he is infinite, he is the absolute master of the universe. Blessed be the name of Allah throughout the centuries. Blessed this is the, the moment of the evening prayer for all the faithful. Wherever they may be in the world, they must heed the call of their muezzin and kneel in prayer for the glory of Allah, the creator, the father of the universe. As the prophet revealed in the Quran, the finest thing you can do is feed the hungry. No one can become a true believer if he does not desire for his brothers that which he desires for himself. Do not forget the three most important things. One, you must love Allah and his prophet above all other things. Two, if you love someone, you must love him only in Allah. And three, you must refuse idolatry. After the holy books of the other faiths came the Quran, and it alone contains the last and true expression of the Creator's will. Only those who are truly capable of abandoning themselves to him can call themselves the true faithful of God. This is Islam. Indeed, the true meaning of the word Islam is self-abandonment to the divine will. You can understand clearly then that to engage in the struggle that will bring all men of all nations into the embrace of Islam is an absolute duty for all true believers, and he who lays down his life in so doing will be rewarded with paradise. After the death of Muhammad, which took place in the city of Medina on the 8th of July of the year 632, his followers, faithful to his ideas and inspiration, spread out in all directions from the Arabian Peninsula. Keen experts of the deserts, caravan leaders and merchants attuned to combat, the sons of Muhammad rapidly extended their influence over vast territories. Moving southward, Islam conquered the Khorasan, the Lower Indus, the Sindh. And then, in just a few decades, they took for their own most of northern Africa, from Tunisia to Morocco. And it is admirable the way Islam seeks to keep alive the spiritual and cultural heritage of the cities it conquers. Damascus, Antioch, Jerusalem, and Alexandria, where they set up schools for the study of the Quran. Our land is therefore at the center of the universe, and around it move the sky and the sun with such precision that our wise men and astronomers can foretell not only... A class of Islamic intellectuals was born. These men renewed and extended Western culture. In 711, Islam crossed the Straits of Gibraltar and founded the great emirate of the city of Cordova. In cities conquered by Islam, Christians are allowed to practice their faith as long as they do so privately. Here you are. Thank you. What can I get you, Mark? Uh, just a melon, please. Again, Mark? I have no money. And with the jobs I do, I can't afford to bring anything more than that home to my family. That's how it is. Look, it's simple. All you have to do is to go to the Mezine, and then you convert to Islam. You'll have your little shop back in no time. Everyone misses your work. Every day I come to buy a melon, and every day I have to listen to you while you preach the very same sermon in my ears. Do you really think I would betray my faith in Christ? Never. I would die first. Don't get carried away, Mark. No one's asking you for that much. It's just that I'm sorry to see you eating melons. Never anything but melons. Your melons are good. I tell you, brother, you must learn to swim with the tide. At this moment, the soldiers of Allah, blessed be his name, are marching up the Pyrenees. Soon the flags will be waving in the wind above the land of the Franks. Then they will cross the Alps into Italy and march into Rome, which is Christianity's home. They will take it. 
But don't despair, Mark. I tell you this because I'm your brother. Try to understand me. If you accept conversion to Islam right now, before Rome falls, your acceptance of Islam will seem all the greater and will bring you great honor. They will never conquer Rome. Never. And even if they did, no Christian would ever convert. And even if they all did, if I were the last one left, I would never deny my faith. I don't understand why you're so obstinate. Why? Because ever since I was a little child, I've prayed every evening using the words that my mother taught me. I wouldn't dream of casting doubt on her great love. Ugh. In just a hundred years after the Prophet's death, Islamic society was strong both politically and financially, but its thirst for expansion was never quenched. Oh, ships ahoy! There! A dozen of them! Look, over there, off the port quarter! They'll attack us, the Aquitanian fishermen. But we can defend ourselves. It's not going to be easy, my boy. Our ships are much heavier than theirs. We must sink those ships, every one of them. We mustn't allow them near the coast. The black vessels of Muhammad's sons are the black vessels of death. <laughs> my boy. No, but I weep for my father. I don't know what I'm going to do without him now. Let thoughts of sweet revenge be your consolation, Ben Ali. They have destroyed a few of our ships, but we have hundreds more, no thousands, ready to fight. Yes, I know, you're right, but I'm suffering all the same because no one can bring him back to life. You know he's now in the paradise of the heroes. He sees your love, he'll always be present in your life, and he'll never abandon you. I know you're right, Ahmed. And I'm going to try my best to be worthy of him. Huh? In spite of the Aquitanians' heroic resistance, the Saracens were able to occupy the capital of the region, the great port of Bordeaux, the beginning of the inland route toward the rich territory south of the Pyrenees. At the same time, a great Muslim army set out from Spain, sure that they would find the stocks, arms and horses they needed once they got to the other side of the mountains. Well, Ben Ali, are you coming along? Of course. I want to be part of the cohort that fights under the banner of the Prophet. I want to be beside my beloved father in the paradise of the heroes. Don't be in such a big hurry for death. At your age, you still have many things left to see and do, my boy. And there's a land to be conquered. A jug of your best Falernian, and quickly. I'm very thirsty. Six important divisions of the army are crossing the mountains. The Pyrenees, as we call them. The horses we brought from Spain are for them. You're talking about a hundred thousand soldiers. How will we ever feed them all? I wouldn't worry. I don't foresee any kind of problem. This is a rich and fertile land, and there's no army in the world that can withstand us. Ugh. 
What's your name, lad? Mustafa. And you, what's your name? Ben Ali Kamil. But you're the son of... Yes, sir. Son of Amir Ibn Kamil. I knew your father well. I've been told that he fought like a lion. Yes, but he died anyway. His bravery was to no avail. That's not for you to decide. Only the Divine Allah, blessed be his name, can say this. And now you want to fight in your father's place. I will do my best to earn the respect of those who knew him. Hmm. Esther, ah. here. Everything they need to know is contained in this message. Soon there'll be a hundred thousand of them. Our friends will have to come to our rescue very quickly. If they don't, the Saracens would surely take everything we own and we will be in their hands. Let the name of the Almighty be blessed throughout eternity. Let his sacred book, the Koran, be brought to all the peoples of the earth. Blessed be Allah, the Divine, the Merciful. They've disembarked thousands of horses and they're waiting for the arrival of tens of thousands of men from the passes through the Pyrenees. What, so many? It's a huge army and they do not come in peace. It will be hard to resist them, but the Lord is with us. Will it be our duty to take up arms and defend ourselves? We will begin by praying that it be God's will to soften the enemy's heart and to stop him. But in the meantime, there are some concrete measures we can take. We will march from Bordeaux. We will conquer every castle and every village in Aquitaine so that none can attack us behind our backs. And then we will advance to the Loire. We will cross that river. It is not deep. Then we will take every city and that rich valley. We'll find everything we need there. Everything. According to your estimation, when will we be encountering King Pippin's army? To the best of my knowledge, King Pippin is a wise, old, and lazy man, with no great trust in his generals either. It may well be that we have no occasion to confront him. No, I don't think we'll have to worry about him. But what if he does decide to mount an army? It's not something that can be done overnight, and if it comes down to it, we're perfectly willing and ready to fight. I think highly of our army. It's second to none. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus. May he be forever praised, good woman. Father, do you think there's any chance they'll come here? No, Jero. We're too far from the sea for them. The Saracens raid only up and down the coast. No, they'll never come. I mean, after all, we're in the heart of Aquitaine. Let's go! It's time to attack! For Allah! Attack! 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 Look, they're coming! The Saracens, they're here! They'll kill us all! Where can we go? Run, run, run. This way! We run, must save the children! This way! Move it! 
You have no reason to fear us, woman. We believe in the same god. Listen carefully, all of you. I have no intention of going into your church or destroying it. I am a good Muslim, and I would never profane the house of God. All I want from you is what you have stored in your granaries. It is needed by the sons of the prophet. They too have the right to eat, because they are engaged in spreading the word of the Lord. We can use the cart to carry everything. <clears throat> They've taken everything! You're nothing but thieves! You've stolen the bread out of our mouths! How can we ever hope to feed our children no. now? For heaven's sake, be silent, or they'll kill us all. Do you want to die? Ugh. Oh, I don't believe it. They're going. They're gone. They're leaving. They're leaving. But they're gone. Oh no! Yeah! Oh Lord, save us! They're coming now, back! Kill us all! Brothers, brothers, we must hide! Here we go! Is there no one among the Franks who owns a sword and is willing to use it? Or do you prefer to stand by and watch these abominations in apathy? Are we to let these demons take us as slaves? It is written, thou shalt not kill. But if no one will seize a sword to protect the men and the women of this country, I swear I will brandish one myself. of the Prophet will become more numerous than the grains of sand in the desert and will conquer the earth in the name of Allah. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his Prophet. little food and no roof over their heads. They are coming. They will be here soon. There are more than a hundred thousand of them. Fanatics and zealots who are ready to stop at nothing. I will sign the appeal. I will be the first. Only the Frankish lords can rescue us now. If they don't come in time, all of Aquitaine will become Saracen. Do you really think the Frankish knights will come scurrying to our rescue? Like brethren, they've never been on our side. Yet they should remember our fates are intertwined. King Pippin bears us no great love, but his counselor Charles Martel is wise. He'll understand it's best to help us, and as a Christian king, he can hardly ignore us. But even if they were willing to, any army they could mount would be woefully inadequate, especially as regards cavalry. Not so, my friend. This time the Franks will come with a large army. When they find out what is happening here in Aquitaine, many men will step forward and come to our rescue. Not only the knights and nobles, but the common people as well, because our struggle now is to save Christianity itself. All Christians must unite under the banner of the Almighty and defend the faith.
get there in time, it may mean the end of all Christianity. Then let's not waste time. Come on! Yeah. We're too late. They've destroyed everything. <laughs>